So we're told that there's a tabletop 24 inches long and 18 inches wide, so 24 by 18. Um, so we're supposed to find the area of the tabletop in square centimeters. So let's first find out the area in square inches, and then we can use our conversion. So 24 times 18 makes 432 square inches. It's squared because you get inches times inches. It makes inches squared. Uh, but we want to convert this to square centimeters. So you want to multiply this by a conversion factor. And a factor we have is that one linear inch is 2.54 linear centimeters. So I'd want to put the centimeters up top. That way the inches can go on bottom and cross cancel. So 2.54 centimeters. And I'm going to divide that by one inch. So we call that a conversion factor. Um, we call that a conversion factor because these two things are equivalent, right? So if you take something and divide it by it's something else that it's equivalent to, it should equal one. So I've got my answer for the, the two-dimensional area. I'm converting it using this conversion factor, and I'm not changing the actual number. I'm multiplying it by one. So that's what we do with conversion factors. But look, these don't quite cross-cancel. You've got inches squared in like what you can consider the numerator, because you can put that over one. And you've got inches first power in the denominator, so they're not ready to cancel yet. You just have to square the top and the bottom of this. Okay. So we got 432 square inches still. We haven't squared it yet. I mean, we haven't cross canceled them yet. And up top, I've got to square that 2.54 in order to make this equivalent 6.4516. That's one square inch. So now the inches can cross cancel. And we can multiply straight. Whoops, I had to redo this part of the video. It's my messy handwriting coming to haunt me. That's a decimal there. Okay, so we got 432 square inches times 6.4516 square centimeters over square inches. So square inches, units cross cancel. And so we're left with this many centimeters squared. Okay, and then part B. Designer wants to cover the table tabletop with tiles. She doesn't have any to begin with. She can't uh, buy partial bags of tiles. Each ba uh, each bag covers 260 square centimeters. Um, so it sounds like they're really small tiles, so we don't have to worry about like overstepping on this side. I think this is just a, a division problem. You've got this many square centimeters available to you. It's going to cost us 260 square centimeters for each tile, so you want to divide those two. Okay, so if you divide that, it's 10.719, but they said they can't buy partial, so we're going to have 11 up here. Oh, and you can see my mistake from last time. I missed my decimal. I thought it was high when I was doing it, too. We got 2,787, and I didn't see any decimal. Uh, round your final answer to two decimals. So there it is, rounded to two decimals up there. And then for the bags, what did we say this was? So it's got to round up to 11 bags because you can't have a partial bag. And if each bag costs $3.76, how much will she need? There's 11 bags. They're each $3.76. $31.36 is how much they'll need.